Uh, welcome to Bluff Creek Podcast Radio. I'm Blake Friel. I'm Audrey Speed. Today's special guest is... I'm Dr. Greg Ruth. Mind if we ask you some questions? I'd be honored. What kind of surgeries do you do? So my specialty is in general surgery, and I also do some vein surgery. Uh, General surgery mainly focuses on trauma, critical care, and diseases of the intestines, like the appendix, stomach, and those kinds of things. Interesting. What is your favorite kind of surgery? I think my favorite kind of surgery is doing hernia surgery, which is fixing little holes in the muscle in the abdominal wall and putting a piece of mesh to keep the guts inside. Could you tell us some stories about your surgery, surgeons, patients? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had several interesting patients over the year. Uh, One that we talked about that I thought was very interesting, we had a lady from South America who had a tumor on her neck that was the size of her head. And me and two other surgeons took 13 hours to slowly dissect the tumor off of her neck and shoulder, and that allowed her to have a lot more freedom. She used to wear a scarf over this big uh, tumor, but then once we removed that tumor, then she was uh, much more normal looking. Interesting, besides having, um, doing surgery, what is your favorite hobby? So I think my favorite hobby would be road cycling. I really like uh, going long distances and up hills with my um, carbon frame bicycle. I enjoy going with other people or just with myself as well. Interesting. So just asking, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is barbecued ribs. Yum. Do you like seafood or crab or fish? I do. I like all kinds of seafood. I I love crab. I'd say that's my second favorite food. I like most kinds of fish. The only kind of seafood I have never liked is oysters. Interesting. You told us about inventions you used to make some inventions. Can you name some of them for us? Yeah. So when I was in college, I made a compact disc holder that would hang on the wall. It was made out of a clear plexiglass and it would show the cover art of all the different uh, compact disc cases. So when compact disc first came out, there wasn't a way to show the cover art very well, so this invention allowed you to put 24 CDs on the wall, and it became popular in college. I sold several of them. I had a business partner and then sold the company before I moved to California. How much did you sell the company for? I think it was $1,500 which at the time seemed like a lot of money. That's a lot of money at the time. It's better than nothing, yep. (laughs) So, what job, what was your second job you wanted to do besides being a doctor? Yeah, so I would like to uh, also be an inventor. I've invented several things, and I would like to find a way to combine being a doctor, which which I really enjoy helping people with, and also being an inventor, which involves being creative. So I'd like to find a way to maybe work in the medical device field, something like that, where I can do inventions that help people in medicine. Pardon the interruption. Just want you to know the email service is down. We're letting you know in the phone. Oh. Okay. So where did you grow up? I grew up in Owatonna, Minnesota, about an hour south of the Twin Cities. About your inventions, I, that's neat. We have a lot in common. Mm-hmm. I yeah, made, we do. I would like to make this, um, instead of a raincoat, it's like this clear box that goes over you with you walks with when you walk, and it walks with you, and it senses you, so it covers you without getting rain or anything on you. Mm-hmm. I think that's a great idea. I think any time you can make something that helps people or makes their life easier, and that's something that you're passionate about, you'll make the world a better place. And I think that's something I'd say for both of you and for all of us and your classmates too, is that you should follow your heart, find out what you really get excited about, what gives you energy, and if you can find a way to do that with whatever you do in life, I think you'll be very successful. 
Well, I've tried to make spring boots, but I'm scared of bashing my skull through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a problem. Yeah, you got to be careful, and you got to put limits on things. But as long as you're following a passion, I think it's a good idea. Have you ever wanted to be? In, have you ever known anything about being a musician? Um, I have played trumpet and a little bit of guitar. I think that's a fascinating area. I love music. Do you that, guys love music too? I do. Yes. My dad's teaching me to play um, my electric guitar, and I'm also playing saxophone in the school band. Awesome. I love uh, saxophone. I play percussion, and I've been playing piano for two and a half years. Wonderful. So you guys have lots of different talents. Thank you. Yeah, thank you both been very fun to get to know you a little bit and um, spend some time together. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Our broadcast was brought to you by... She was supposed to say, thank you, Greg, Dr. Greg, for coming in today. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure getting to, getting to know each of you and to spend a little time with you. Thank you very much. You guys did a great job. Today's radio podcast was brought to you by Bluff Creek Elementary and Eastern Carver County Schools.